We got something down here. More, look at that. Slides. What else is in here? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. Hello, how are we doing today? It's Robert Zaba, the auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense and this collection. The guy was a hoarder of cameras, antique magic lanterns and all kind of stuff. If you didn't see the first video, you won't believe some of the stuff that we're coming across. I can't wait to see what else we find in all these boxes. And it's not just that stuff. Sometimes there's hidden other treasures inside these boxes and let's start digging them if you haven't subscribed just subscribe it's free easiest thing you could do subscribe hit the bell get all your notifications it's so easy and you won't miss anything all kind of awesome shirts all kind of great videos hoarder houses storage units and guys like this this stuff we picked up so this box right here so we had these cars in here i'm not sure if these are it says new bright on there. Looks like Shane's cars. And then right here. Tea time! What is this? Majesty's Silver Jubilee. Oh, wow. And I guess it's... Not exactly sure. I guess you open it up. Go through. And here comes the. I don't know. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it. I'm not sure what it's worth. But that's why I love my job because you get to find things you never get to see ever before. What the heck is this? So there's magnifying lenses on there. Whoa. I'm not sure. You probably put this in front of a projector, maybe. Well, I guess you can hold it. Maybe this one in the hair. Not sure. I'm trying to figure it out, Shane. This is how we got it. And then whatever this is, holy smoke. Keeps opening. Okay. So this goes like this. And then this, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure. I think this goes like this. And then maybe. It has something to do with this stuff? I'm not sure. Very cool piece, though. That's antique camera stuff. I wish I knew more about it, so I'll have to do some research. What do you think, Shane? Oh, look at these. These are for a stereoscope. And we have some glass slides here. So maybe a race or something going on. And subject matter can be important because certain things can make a lot of money. What is this? Oh, wow. Ready? Ooh, he's diving. Shh. One more time. Whoa. Let's see this side. <laughs> Elephant. Oh, he's running from animals. Shh. So, old little movie picture. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Little top little pipe here. And so right here you'd actually have kerosene or whatever. This is an actual lantern. Heat coming out, it'll light that up. And right here you would put the slide in. It's probably a glass slide. 
thought you would be Let's see it says dick thought your insight like to add this to your collection lance yeah i'm sure you'd like to add it to this collection it's a beautiful piece oh my gosh oh, oh. Now look at this so there's the name of the company right here pathox it's got the rooster on there Look at this, you can actually see inside of it. And I don't think this is for this piece. So this is an actual electric projector, but you can tell by the way this cord is and how this plug is. This is probably like maybe 20s, 30s. Could be early 40s. Oh, you thought those were cool? This might be the coolest one yet. Take a look at that one. I just love this ornateness. Everything was made with such, you know, precision and skill. And look at the slide in here. It's actually a round one. Very cool piece. And this. See what it was. I'm not sure, you know, see that looks like it would go like that, this seems like it's just an extra piece maybe, what is this, you know, what do you think Shane? I know nothing about these. I thought you're a magic lantern expert, I always like it when it has peanuts inside. Something. Oh, he's gonna fall over. I put inside this box because all these peanuts are gonna fly off. Look at this box right there. Lantern Magica. This is the Gloria. that here's that this one looks like it's missing the top there's a bunch of slides in here you see them yep so these would slide right through here you can take this part out but yeah it'll slide right through that part very cool needs a chimney all these boxes here. Oh my gosh. Some of these, I mean, were in the garage, some were in the house. All this stuff's been sitting in boxes for 20 years, though. Oh yeah, filming me, I'm filming you. Look at this old case here. Leather case fun. It's not enough, so we got a little. This is probably a light meter. That's what it is. Try another light meter. Something's all wrapped up in bubble wrap. What the heck is this? Holy smoke. Kodak Aesthetic Sound movie making case? Wow. I've never even seen that before. Look at this. That's a camera. So the Univex 8mm model A8. So Kodak electric sound movie making thing. Let's see. I've never seen one of these before. Let's see if I can open it. So it's got the camera in there. Looks like it's complete. It's got all the paperwork. And if you collect that kind of stuff, man, nice. Beautiful piece. I'll have to look it up. Could be worth ten bucks. It could be worth fifty dollars, hundred dollars. You don't know. Camera equipment always brings interest and money. Oh my gosh! Whoa! 
Holy smoke. That is serious right there. Oh my gosh. It is so heavy. And there's the main bag here. What's this say? Heliscopic lantern. Something lynches. It looks like it has stuff inside of here. Not sure what it all is. I'm assuming you can move this back and forth, could adjust the view. And it's got, look, look at this, it's got the blue glass right here. And then it's got this beautiful brass. I just love the old brass. Look at this, it just tells you right away it's older. That covers the lens up right there. Adjustments and all that. Very cool piece. And I'm not sure value of some of this stuff. I haven't really looked at it, but I'm assuming this piece here has got to be at least a few hundred dollars. All right, another box of fun. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Man, every time I think I see the best one, it's just like the next one's so cool too. I just like this. Look at this beautiful design on here. I mean, it's not a simple design at all. It has multiple design features in there. It's got like clovers and squares and little dots. And You know, this is all oh, turn of the century. You know, you're looking at 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s. And just imagine, I mean, the first time you saw a picture projected up on a wall. I mean, that's why it was called a magic lantern, because <laughs> it was magic. I mean, it was just like, oh my gosh, i never seen anything like that in my life. And you could see parts of the world and stuff that you've never seen before. Very cool. Oh, this is the heaviest box I grabbed so far. What the heck's in here? Ooh, wow. It just looks interesting. Doesn't that look interesting? It's like intriguing. So it looks like these are all glass slides. I don't know if it's better for me to hold them up like this. So this one's telling a story. This is, who knows what's going on here? So right there, lantern slides. giving a speech or something or they're in church I guess and don't forget a lot of the, a lot of slides back then were religious because so the only place they could afford a lantern and like things like that were a church and this way they could it was easier to teach people buildings in there and just imagine I mean some of these people never you know a lot of people never traveled more than a few feet what the heck's all wrapped up in here you know Maybe you'd be lucky to travel a couple miles from your house. So cool. Glass slide. See, here's some of the wheel ones. All wheels. This is a different size wheel ones. Like I said, there's all different magic lanterns. We got an old camera in here. Some of these cameras could be worth five, ten bucks. Some could be worth a thousand dollars. It just depends on the camera. Depends on the lens sometimes. I mean, this camera looks like it's brand new. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. This camera's got to be at least 50 years old. Probably older than that. Gone how? Or projector. I know we got something down here. More look at that. Slides. What else is in here? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. That's an old Kodak camera. I've never seen one like a case like that. Vest Pocket Kodak Series 3. 
I wonder what that's worth. I'll have to look it up. But this is probably the original box it came in. Very cool. Oh yeah, look at it. it says Kodak right there. Unbelievable. Holding history in my hand. All right. Nice. EP lantern. Got the chimney. Another kind of interesting one. It's missing a couple pieces. Now these pieces probably go to it. So this probably goes in there. See, this is what would go inside of it, and you'd actually, and it's going to reflect the light towards there, and this thing here, so you would actually put it back inside. books. I'm not sure what these books are. I have no clue. Types. Old type fashion. I guess this is what you're looking at. Different styles of fonts. Huh, T.T. Barnum. You know what P.T. Barnum was? No. Barnum and Bailey Circus. Uh, P.T. Barnum he brought the spectacular parts of the world to people. This is all photography stuff. Wow. We haven't seen a wooden one yet. Here's the foot that came off. Probably didn't, probably didn't make much sense to make them out of wood, huh? <laughs> How many think got caught on fire? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That's like pure steel. Chandler in place. Assuming these are pieces for the camera. I shouldn't assume anything, but. Look at that. This was electrified. Look at that. that looks really old cord. Very old cord. And somehow you should be able to take this. So you can adjust it as need be. What the heck? There's all kind of slides with another. Whoa. Old. That's a little miniature one. Is that a pigeon? Or a chicken? Like a chicken, maybe. Guy looking at the ground. Looks like worms on the ground. Please, before pleasure, before business. What's the guy doing? Kissing us? Taking a home, and kissing some girl. <laughs> so who knows why they use? Look at that beautiful house. Buildings like this. So this is a way for people to see the world. Never got to see things before. This looks like a looks like a Native American maybe in bed. So some of the stuff was used for propaganda. I have no clue about that one. Looks like a guy and a ghost or something. I don't know. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, some more. This looks like a magic lantern. 
for sure. That one goes like that. This one looks like it should have some kind of base or something. This looks like it's the wrong way, but I guess it goes up that way. We'll figure it out. Look at that one. Very cool. Uh -huh. What are you thinking? There's a box for one of them. Which one can fit in the box? Alright. Ooh. A little picture here. Never know what I'm gonna find. Look at this. Pearl necklace. I don't think it's real pearls. Ava. Says Ava. Big potato maker. Vintage stapler. What the heck is this? What do you say, buddy? What? Furnace. Thermostat. So. Woo, what's this? We got a little, little box, huh? What else we got in here? Nutcracker. I see another piece of jewelry down here. Her toolkit. Kilo toy to tool seven and one. What is this thing? Craft cheese cutter from the That's what's in here. Look at this. For Velveeta. Got your cheese cutter in there. Huh. All right, what's in the jewelry box? Jewelry? Got some more old pearls. Old hair stuff in here. Yeah, it's been sitting in here a long time. Some old cufflinks. Never know about cufflinks. You always got to see if they're gold. These don't appear to be, but... These definitely aren't. See how tires are. That's always in this one. I'll have to look under better later, but I doubt it is. Probably gold plated. There's only one in there, anyways. Never know what you're going to find, Shane. Like mm -hmm. this. It's an old cigarette case. That could have a bake light on. Egg beet whisk. Oh man, that's another one full of peanuts. This is a good sign. Wow. Interesting, interesting. Supposed to go on top of there? Maybe it was. Well, that's got a camera on it. It's an old box. Very interesting. So I thought that was that's supposed to be on there. I don't know. We can just tell how it's made. Color the wood. It's probably 100 years old at least, maybe more. Gets inside the bag of fun. Flash bulbs. Vivitar lens closer. All kind of filters for lenses. Holy smoke, Ola. Boxes and boxes. Glass slides. There you go. So we got birds. So this, I'm assuming this whole case is going to be all different birds in this one. It says 
kakus and king fishers. So, like I said, I mean, I, I've seen slides, individual slides sell anywhere between five, ten dollars a piece. There's some out there that can sell for hundreds. Content is everything. What's on the slide? Screening rock salt at Salt Something. Keystone View Company. Guy with the mining cars. So who knows? But this whole thing is just full of glass slides. So let's just say each box, you get, you know, $10, $20 a box. And how many boxes are in here? A lot. Woo! Another box of fun. Just don't know what we're going to find in these boxes. You might find something like this. Another huge, huge magic lantern. This one looks like it was electrified. So let me turn it upside down. There we go. They might do this after the fact. Look at the bulb in there. That bulb is probably worth money, I guarantee it. Looks like the one first invented by Edison. It could be. It might be the first bulb ever. That don't look like good with it. This. That's These things look like they're cooking to something. Huh. Wow, 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 wow. Keystone instructor outfit. Handmade lantern slides. These are brand new, old stock. Make your own slides. Stamping for like a it's kind of cool stamp kit. Print your own newspaper, Shane. Boys wanted to do that. Extra, extra, hear all about it. Second sense. Found some cool stuff. Another old camera there. Looks like a piece of metal. I don't know what it's for. And a tube. <laughs> well, we always gotta find some of that. Christmas fun. So we got some vintage Christmas in here. Oh wow, look at the shiny brights down there. Vintage Christmas. Ho ho ho. He looks like vintage Christmas. Man, this thing had better days. Well, at least the zipper works. It's an old Bell and Howell camera in there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hopefully it opens. Ooh. That would say it could be a very expensive camera. Oh my gosh. Looks like something was living in there. That's just like an extra handle in there. I thought the handle broke off, but there's an old camera. And this one right here. To look this one up. Oh. Bell 
Stone Hollow Company. Felino or something, I don't know. It looks expensive. It looks like it would be worth some cash money. Look at this giant key for it. Looks like an extra lens there. Huh. See that shit? I don't think this goes with it. I don't think this goes with it at all. This looks like a pencil. Alright? Yeah. Alright.